Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. First, I got to give a shout out to Dave and Christine Emsweiler who sent me this shirt about a year ago. I love this thing. It's so comfortable. And now that it's summertime, it just makes sense. I got a gift request. Kevin Bounds. Shout out to you, my friend. You've made a number of requests in the past and you made a gift for me to do one of your own songs, A Parting of Our Hearts. And if history is any indication, you put the video together of this. I don't know if there's a comp, you know, a compilation of different images that you put together. We're going to find out. But shout out to you, Kevin. It's good to see you again, my friend. All right, let's see. What did, now, aren't you out in California, Kevin? Am I misremembering that? I might be. It's been a little bit. Something, I don't know. I've got you associated with California, but I mean, you could be in Colorado or anywhere, but something tells me Cali. All right, let's see what we got going here. A parting of our hearts. Ouch. People see us as the perfect pair. It starts that way. Maybe they see something we forgot was there. We're holding hands, but we're not holding on. To a love that's almost as good as gone. Nice turn of phrase there. So before our love slips, let's get a grill. Before we separate, let's communicate. Let's talk before we walk. Stop the bleeding before it starts. Of the minds, not a parting of our hearts. Hey, you put a lot into this, Kevin, lyrically. We've been two stepping on Saturday nights. All right. Sidestepping our problems. To avoid a fight Fair enough Caught up in the dance Ignoring how we feel It's hard to do Going through the motions While our world is standing still So before our love slips Let's get a grill before we separate, let's communicate. Let's talk before we walk. Stop the bleeding before it starts. Yeah. Let's have a meeting of the minds, not a parting of our hearts. That's good. I like that. This might be your. I think this might be the song that you put the most time into lyrically, Kevin. There's a lot going on in this. Yeah, like a lot from verse to verse. But you paired them up so that they're opposites, like a meeting of the minds, not a parting of the hearts. Yeah. No, no. All right, let's see where else you go with it. Let's bring back to life the love that once took us by storm. Let lightning strike in the place it hid before. So before our love slips, let's get a grill. Before we separate, let's communicate. Let's talk before we walk. Stop the bleeding before it starts. Let's have a meeting of the minds, not a parting of our hearts. 
Oh, let's have a meeting of our minds Not a parting of our hearts That you know, I'd never really thought about the word communicate the way I did in this song because you were going with opposites or contrasts, like when they were dancing, going through the motions. Was it like standing still or going through the motions? But you said, before we separate, let's communicate. And initially, I wasn't fond of that rhyme scheme. But then I started thinking about communicate. And for the first time in my life, the word commute, I'm like, what is the origin of the word communicate? And like commune. Like most people, myself included up until now, had just considered communication like talking. You talk, I talk, you talk, whatever. We're talking. But when you think of like communal property, it means property that we all hold together. And so to commune means to come together, like do something together, but intimately. And so communicate and separate, actually, I could see them as opposites. And so whether you did word studies on this and how much time you put in, but I, I could tell, I could see it. Maybe I'm seeing it wrongly. I'm just making it up in my head, Kevin. But lyrically on this one, you and you have written very nice lyrics in the past too, but I think that this was your most intricate song to weave it to, and not just to weave each like like dual phrasing together, but to go into the next dual phrasing where there was a contrast and to make it uh, more of a seamless whole. I think this was a challenge for you time wise. I don't mean a challenge that you didn't pull off. I mean. I know what it's like when you're trying to come up with the right words for a different part, a given part, say, in a book. Like those of you who follow the channel know that I write a lot. And there sometimes there's segues into next part. You know, you're just trying to come up with ways to make the wording work so it doesn't seem forced. It doesn't seem choppy. It doesn't seem oversold or over what have you. And I could feel and it, what you probably went through in writing this because there was a lot in it and putting a lot of ingredients into a cake and still make it work is not easy to pull off. And you pulled it off. Lyrically, you pulled it off. Instrumentally, it was simple. Uh, the, drums were, the drums were simple. I liked that you came in with the fiddle early on in the song because that established what the song was that it was obviously country but i mean that's what you do anyway which i knew but it like established it right away and i always like when songs come in with that um so all right man because i'm such a word nerd i'm an absolute word nerd the right the number that popped into my head was a 9.0 because Rightly or wrongly, I don't know. I know if I tried to pull off this song, I don't. Kn I know it would have taken me a long time. Like sometimes you get in a rhythm, like you're not sure how you're going to start, but then you start and you're like, oh, all right, I've got kind of like a rhythm already. Like I know what I'm going to look for in future lines in the song, but not always, not always. And uh, there's just nothing on the page. And then you put something on the page. You've got to put things on the page. And then you've got to unput things on the page because they no longer they no longer make sense, or that you don't like them, or they don't work for you, or you change like the fourth stanza, and suddenly the second stanza doesn't make sense, or it's weak to you now, whereas it was strong. I do, you know, the, the mark of a good writer is somebody who knows what to take out of their writing, not what to put in it. You you take things out after you've put it in there, just because you don't like it anymore. So. There it is. Kevin, that was fun, man. That was fun. Seriously. And I like the instrumentation was simple, which allowed me to focus on the words. Because sometimes songs, there's so much going on in them that I don't know if I should focus on the instrumentation or the lyrics. But this was clearly made for the lyrics. So there you go. All right, guys. 
You can thank Kevin for that one. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.